Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we will have a pretty fun video. Actually while walking Rocky we noticed that all of the snow is almost melted. It's so foggy outside, so cloudy and you know it's really not Christmassy at all. So today we will have not Christmas inspired video but houseplant related video. We will go thrifting actually and look for awesome houseplant pots because I really want to have something even cooler in my collection. I just feel inspired to have pretty cool pots today and the best place to find those pots are thrifting stores so we will go there and also I will take you along to a pretty special houseplant store but about that we'll talk with you a little bit later you know future Svetlana will tell you all about it but right now buckle up guys because we're going to the city please excuse the walking sounds of this not mister Rocky as always okay yeah Rocky as always want to say hi what a nice boy. Enough, enough mumbling. Let's go shopping because it's been a while. Let's do this. Alright guys, welcome back to my kitchen. We actually are already home because it was really too rainy, really too foggy and too cold to go ahead and look for more adventures. So I went in two stores, two thrifting stores and actually came back not empty handed. So I'm really excited to share with you what I found. Actually, there were so many interesting things that I have never seen before. Like for example, a teapot that was in shape of a horse maybe? Or maybe it wasn't a horse, I'm not sure. I felt pretty good, you know, exploring all of these different things that I wouldn't see, you know, in normal life. <laughs> I mean, normal life, normal stores, right? But anywho, let me show you what I've got because I'm really excited. Actually, here is another proof for you that if you really want something, you just need to put it to the universe. Remember when I started to film this video, I said that I feel really inspired to go ahead and buy some houseplant pots. Well, I found two of them. Really awesome one, really amazing ones. I'm so, so excited. So let me show you them. Okay, so let's start from this one that I saw the minute I entered. The minute I entered this uh, thrifting store and this is this terracotta elephant. Isn't that cute and adorable? This is a pot, unfortunately without drainage hole. It was one euro and 50 cents. But what I think I might try to drill a hole in here and even if not, it's terracotta. So it, it wouldn't be that damaging to pot up a plant in here because it's really porous material. So such a cool find and I'm really proud of it. And only one euro and 50 cents. Are you kidding me? Sign me up. And you know what? It actually looks like empty coloring books so you know I have all of those flowers all of those details on the face I could just go ahead take my paints and paint on them so let me know would you paint over on this spot or would you leave it as it is anywho <clears throat> then at this very same shop I found this dish I just love that it's still it's actually really heavy and it's one relish I actually have no idea what relish is but what got me is the shape of this dish and this hand sign it actually reminds me of old school signs you know that i used to see in united kingdom when i lived for half a year there so it just somehow spoke to me and i was like oh my gosh this will be a perfect propagation station or i could use it even as a pot still not sure how i will use this one up but i'm pretty sure whatever i will decide to do it will look awesome i mean even imagine if this sensivira would be inside of this pot oh 
cute, isn't it? So, so cute. This one was 2 euros and 50 cents. So not on the cheaper side, but at the same time, I think pretty good steel because this feels like a really good quality. It's made in England. So this is sweet, right? And all in all, I just loved it. And then I left that store and went to another store. And in that store, I was walking for at least an hour and I'm not even kidding. The worst thing is that I, I was not able to film there because there was a sign to not uh, use cameras in the store. So, you know, I was polite and not doing that. There are so many cool stuff. Uh, actually, while I was scrolling through all of those uh, shelves, came to British guys or maybe Irish guys, I'm not sure, but they were speaking in very, um, in very beautiful accent both with each other and they were maybe 18 each, like, you know, kind of teenagers, right? And they were also chatting, talking and at one moment I was holding Marvel uh, playing cards and they were looking really cool. I'm a huge Marvel fan fan and I was really thinking about buying these cards and when they were standing next to me one was talking to each other and most likely he thought that I won't understand English <laughs> and he was like please don't buy it please don't buy it please don't buy it please don't buy it and I looked at him and I, and I was like oh what the heck take it and he was like so shook and surprised because he was not expecting that i will understand what he was saying he maybe thought that i will think that he was talking to his friend but i got the idea <laughs> so it was really funny to see how shocked he was you know and i think it was so worth it to give up those cards just for this moment because it was pretty funny you know <laughs> and hopefully he will enjoy them so actually while scrolling through all the shelves i saw some awesome stuff but at the same time i did not want it to spend a money on stuff that I really don't need and I'll just put on the shelf you know to collect dust so I tried to stay mindful so I got only two very tiny tiny things and first one is this wolf slash German Shepherd sculpture for one euro guys are you flipping kidding me when I saw this tiny thing I was so so happy because it really reminds me of my puppy Rocky and it was only one euro and i was like oh my gosh this is so cute and gorgeous and i might use it in my future fairy garden for example so i was like oh i know it's not necessary but at the same time it's really not often to find a german shepherd shaped sculptures so i i just got it you know so this is one of those and also i got this tiny giraffe that both of them are all actually also made in england which is so cool in my opinion but this tiny giraffe looked so adorable i love the details it's so tiny but really detailed and really realistic and once again i thought i might use it in my desert inspired uh, fairy gardens because i love doing desert inspired fairy gardens with cacti and succulents so this will be a perfect perfect detail for one of those so once again only one euro so tiny so cute and i fell in love the moment i saw it anywho so yeah this is the last thing i got i love how tiny they are it actually adds a little i don't know spice to them because they're so teeny tiny right so so cute so these are all the stuff i bought some of them plant related some of them are not but every single one of them made me really happy when i found them so i was like yes 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 <laughs> you know what it's saturday and i still don't do not have too much stuff to do at home so we will go to the last spot just like i promised to you guys i actually am on a look for presents to my mom and sister so i need to check out a couple stores but i most likely won't include them in this video because i know that my mom and sister are watching this video so haha nope <laughs> on the way i also will visit one beautiful houseplant store so Buckle up, not sure how much I will film there, but I will surely film some houseplant footage for you guys. So let's do this. police guys why do you always choose these poor guys oh 
so sad. Oh my gosh. Do you remember me talking about aloes? Do you remember this one, aloe humilis? Holy nuts, this one is huge for six euros only. Wow. What a monster. This one looks cool with stick leaves as well. For 4.19. Awesome. Beautiful succulents. Look at this color. Wow. Actually, just look at this cool aloe I could add to my collection. Ooh, how to take it? To see the price? Ow, ow, ow. $7.99. Wow, this one is a pretty cool plant. <gasps> oh, yo, yo. <laughs> oh no, look, even more painted plants. How rude. First of all. Wow, cute pitcher plants. Cute Phytonias, Peperomias for 5 euros. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous satin potos for 7 euros. Wow, what a steal. Really beautiful specimen. Wow, I like these ones. They would look great in some fairy gardens for 4 euros. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh wow, look at those Monstera de Sonia. <gasps> Look at this gorgeous Alocasia Zebrina. Look at the size of its leaf. Holy nuts. And look, it's not one in the spot. 22 euros? OMG. Amazing. Right? Maybe this one. So cool. So flipping cool. Look, we have Sensiveria Moonshine. The green version. So cute. Lots of cacti, but most of them don't look that exciting. Oh, this aloe also looks fun. For $3.79. This is cool. I like that one. Oh, and look at this one. So beautiful, right? Holy smokes. 7 euros. I wish it was in a bit smaller pot so I could buy it, because right now it's pretty crowded in my home. <laughs> Look at this Achiveria, wow. Oh man, these ones are blue, about to bloom. For 40, 49, so gorgeous. Why you took it? The next day. What's up guys? It's actually another day and I will finish this video off today because yesterday was way too much action going on and I came back home pretty late. But I did not came empty handed. Actually, while going to the store I was talking with you about, it turned out to be closed. And I was so shocked because it was in a shopping mall and in the middle of the day it was completely closed so I was a little bit bummed but then we actually needed to go to one of the big box stores and while being there I thought oh why not to check out a plant section I can film a little bit for you guys and I did and then I saw one beautiful alocasia and I was like wow Wow, this is really beautiful, it's huge, enormous, gorgeous and I was talking about it in the video and Agnes was next to me and he took a note and while I was filming other portions of this shop he came to me with the spot and he was like, let's go and I was like, why do you have that? and he was like, let's go I was like, okay. <laughs> so today I will share with you a plan that I bought and some other stuff. But before going into a plan haul, I really want to say a huge thank you to Nancy. Because she decided to tip me, you Nancy decided to tip me via PayPal, which is so, so sweet of you. I had another awesome surprise to wake up to and the message that you left under it really warmed my heart. So thank you so much, Nancy. This really will help us out. Actually, you know what we were talking with my fiance? say and I mean we have been engaged for over a year now 
for a year and a half to be honest so while talking about all of this money that are coming into my account a big portion of that will go to the wet bills because i promised you that and soon i think next week we have an appointment so this is not changing but the other part that you sent me guys and said do whatever you want with it treat yourself and stuff like that i thought okay why not to use this money and marry <laughs> So, you know, lately it's been difficult to save up money because of many different reasons. And when I saw this opportunity, we talked about this opportunity and I thought, okay, most likely we might marry with this money, from this money and film everything for you guys. We can hang out together and celebrate my wedding and stuff like that. I mean, it still feels unreal. I'm really sad that my dad will not be there. But at the same time, who knows, maybe anytime soon we will chat a little bit more about that. So thank you so much for being a part of this dream right now. Let's, let's call it a dream, but hopefully pretty soon I'll have a very positive update for you guys. But right now... Oh my gosh, okay, last thing, this one will be quick, but have you seen in the very intro where I ask you to subscribe to my channel, I put up a beautiful picture of me that was actually hand drawn by one of you guys. So Martin, thank you so much for drawing me. When I saw this picture in your email, I was so shook. Actually, while opening this email, I saw the picture and I was like, oh, here's another houseplant pot order probably. And I took look at the pictures and was like, ha, that's me, you know, how hilarious. And then I read the email and that was me. You actually decided to take your time and drew me and I was mind blown away. So here is a picture once again. I love it. It's already my profile picture on Instagram. Oh, it makes me really happy. You have no idea. I was smiling from ear to ear when I saw it. And thank you so much, Martin. I will leave Martin's uh, Instagram name name tag is it called name tag in my description box down below if you want to go ahead and check her out because she did fabulous job but right now enough mumbling let's get into the haul of the stuff that i got while we were scrolling in the mall uh we went into one toy store just for fun it was a real long time since we were in a toy store and i noticed a german shepherd sculpture and i was like oh this is so cute look this is rocky how amazing how awesome and then we went on with our business and actually uh, i had to do some stuff agnes had to do some stuff and when we finally met up in the car he gave me this <laughs> So he decided to gift me for Christmas. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? I still am not sure where I will put it and what I'm gonna do with it, but this is the, just the cutest gesture ever and it really warmed my heart, you know, th th this was really beautiful and <sighs> I love him. But anyway, so this is just a, a cute thing I got. But anyway, let's get to the plant. You actually can see it in my background at least a part of it you can see in my background and i know i know i said that i am not that into aeroids lately but this alocasia sabrina was in my thoughts for a really long time look at oh it's huge it has so many leaves yes some of the leaves aren't looking as happy but the size of those leaves are you flipping kidding me this is not the largest leaf by the way so so awesome but what is the mostly awesome for me is the stems of this plant look how thick how juicy and look how zebra looking they are are you flipping kidding me look at this largest leaf it's insane so here it is here is my newest plant i love how thick those stems are oh my gosh you have no idea they actually feel like some kind of lizards or something so juicy so beautiful I want to touch it for some reason. Probably not. Probably shouldn't. But oh my gosh, I'm really sorry for the horrible lighting. Actually, right now it's so foggy outside. I do not see anything but only the mist on my window. So that's why the lighting is horrible. And that's why we're again in my kitchen because this is the brightest room. But oh my gosh, isn't that a beautiful plant? You cannot see it. It's on. But anyway, this is it for today's video, guys. I won't keep you any longer. I think it's pretty 
pretty adventurous video already with a lot of different stuff so I really hope you enjoy this I mean you should because I put so much effort and love into this so hopefully you really did and I hope to see you in my next one before leaving you let me teach you another language lesson in this time okay random one since we were talking about uh, a teapot in the beginning of this video while I was thrifting why not to teach you how to see a teapot in Lithuanian and in Russian so if you want to say teapot in Lithuanian, you need to say arbatinukas. Once again, arbatinukas. Or also it can be a kettle in English. Think kettle or teapot. Is it the same thing? Kind of. Most likely I am talking about kettle. So if in Lithuanian it's arbatinukas. In Russian it's chainik. Once again, chainik. <laughs> pretty easy one but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i had so much fun this weekend and i hope i could give a little bit of this fun and happiness to your life as well uh, please subscribe if you enjoy houseplant content please like this video if you enjoyed it and let's chat in the comment section down below because a lot of us happening so let's talk about it and i'll see you very soon guys Bye bye